All right, neck into the elevator we go. Going up. Nick, I thought he vanished. Okay. Ooh, it's lag. It is lag. Open to open door. That's how we open. That's how we get out of here. Well, okay, fast travel. Look. Oh. What is that? Do not interfere. Our intentions what the hell is this? We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, for God's sake, fuck off. When did the Brotherhood of Steel ever do anything worth? Back into Fort Hagen? Why did I just hop back into Fort Hagen? Maybe to avoid the Brotherhood of fucking Steel. Strange. Where's that ship thing? Near 2229, a mysterious visit to Zama City killed several people. It was only after he was shot dead by city security that the stranger was revealed to be a synth. I think I sent Piper someplace else. Oh, hello. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client. So, you two are fine. Why did you get on the floor? On this little case of yours. What's the story? But we need help. We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. That wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh, boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. <laughs> Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But I'm gonna day, grab a uh, there's one thing nobody really this knows. food where the institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean Kellogg. Huh. Ah, uh, he's dead. Whatever you're thinking. It doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. I had no choice. He wasn't going to talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. 
Got a fall from the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Good idea. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We've got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Fetch brain. All right. I'll do it. Anything to get Sean back. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with us? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll take Piper because Nick can go straight to the memory den. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Piper, Just talk. Know. You know, the Institute has a lot of enemies. The Minutemen entangled with them once, the railroad still does. I've even got some notes on the Blue Dots, the Brotherhood of Steel. Mm. Minutemen? Tell me about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? As far as I know, they're the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. They used to be a volunteer army, dedicated to protecting friends, family, and neighbors. Sounds soft, but they were a real thing at one point. Of course they were. To Diamond City. Let's go back to Fort Hagen. Get Frosty's brains. Free your mind. What? <clears throat> That's weird. Vault tech lies. The only way this is ever going to go our way is if I don't jump on the roof. <laughs> 